Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. Let me just start by thanking you for joining me in the study of God's Word. My prayer is that you are being blessed by going through the Bible verse by verse and line by line and precept by precept. Uh, you gain so much more of the knowledge of God and what He wants for our lives and what He has done for our lives as you study His Word in that manner. I encourage you to study the Word of God on your own. God wants to teach you just as uh, easily as he does me, and he does so by his Holy Spirit, which is why we always go to the Lord in prayer when we begin our studies. Pray with me today. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for your word. It's a joy to come and sit before the sacred word of Almighty God. And Lord, to have your Holy Spirit as our teacher who will guide us into all truth and empower us to live according to the truth, it's just bonus. And so we're excited today as we study this Gospel of John today again and ask that you would bless us as we study. And we'll give you the praise and glory for it in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Believe the Works. It's taken from the book of John, chapter 10, and verse 38. John the Apostle wrote how Jesus said, I and my Father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my Father, for which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone you not, but for blasphemy, and because that you, being a man, make yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said you are gods? If he called them gods, unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, say you of him whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world, you blaspheme? Because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not the works of my fathers, believe me not. And in chapter 10, in verse 38 of the book of John, uh, John shared how Jesus said, Believe the works, where we read, But if I do, and though you believe me not, believe the works, that you may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. The verse reads, But if I do, though you believe me not, believe the works. John began with Jesus' words, But if I do, which means however, whether and since I, Jesus, perform, make ready, and produce, though you believe me not, or even if you Jewish people do not trust in, rely upon, have confidence in, or cling to me, Jesus, believe the works, which means rely upon, trust, have confidence in, and cling to the acts and deeds. John shared how Jesus continued his discussion with the Jewish people who desired to stone him, that even if they did not trust in him, they should trust in the acts and deeds he performed. The verse goes on to say that you may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. John continued with the words that you may know, which means so you Jewish people might understand, perceive, have knowledge of, and become acquainted, and believe, or and rely upon, trust in, have confidence in, and cling to the idea that the Father, which means that the Heavenly Father God, is in me, or exist within me, Jesus, and I in Him, which means an I, Jesus, within Him, God the Father. John shared how Jesus encouraged the Jewish people who desired to stone him to examine the acts and deeds he performed so they would understand and trust that God the Father was within him and he was within God the Father God. When we meditate upon John's words in this verse, we learn how Jesus appealed to the Jewish people who desired to stone him to examine the acts and deeds he performed and trust in them even if they did not trust in him. This would cause them to understand how God the Father was in him, and he was in God. In other words, they were one. God was in Jesus Christ, working within the world, and because he desired to have a personal relationship with everyone through Jesus, anyone who believes and trusts in him as their personal Savior and Lord will be forgiven of their sins and be granted everlasting life with God. Those who are wise will carefully consider Jesus' words and understand and believe that he is the Christ of God who came to save the world. Next time, John shares how the Jews sought again to take him. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. 
May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.